Oh, hey Lola's. Welcome back to my channel, guys. Yes, this is me and my little messy head boy, Phoenix. And yes, he is a boy. He just have a head full of hair. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I know the boys in my family all had like heads full of hair. Like it seemed like the boys have more hair than the girls usually. But um, if you're not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button, click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. Now today, I have a few things to tell you guys first. Um, number one, it's very important that you drop down in the description bar. If you don't see a join now button, then join the chatterbox. Um, you do have to be at least 18 years old to join that. And it is $1.99 a month. Um, also, make sure you follow me on Instagram. I am trying to start doing a little bit more on Instagram as well. Um, but... I was sitting here as um, some of you guys may or may not know, but I did put Ruby up for sale. Um, like I mentioned before, I do have another birdie coming to paint. So therefore I was like, you know what? I'm gonna sell her and I'm gonna keep the next one. Um, and you know how it go. Um, so yeah, I need to, to, to get her soul. Um, I have been, my, my collecting style has been all over the place lately. And I'm, it's a lot changing with me because, I don't know, it's like, I feel like, I feel like I've gotten excited about seeing lots of other new um, babies, new sculpts new um you know just being able to experiment on painting different skin tones and different techniques and stuff to where i just really want to see a little, some other things and i got a list and there's a baby on that list i'll be honest with you guys i'm not gonna even lie to you guys um once birdie once rudy my birdie's baby sell i am gonna buy a a blank sculpt that I got my eye on and um, <laughs> I want to paint that sculpt I really want to paint it so um, yeah so I've been like I'm gonna get him changed I'm gonna try see what he looks like see look at see I'm a big boy guys uh, for all you guys don't know <laughs> Phoenix is the limb sculpt by Bonnie Brown he was painted by me and rooted by my favorite rooter sentimental babies and so um yeah so he's my my big boy he's the biggest baby I have right now and I think then it will be Cody would be next and then Maggie and then my Kingsley like that you know down the road like that um what was I saying <laughs> um but da, 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 um 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 I don't know what I was saying. Oh, I was going to get him changed. Try to get him dressed. I hate covering him up because I kind of just like looking at him. I love looking at his feet and stuff. But I want to see what he looks like. I don't know if these shoes will go with this little outfit. You know, like little walking shoes. But I think little walking shoes go with everything, right? Anyway, um, I've never been a toddler person. Never, ever, ever. I've tried a couple times. I think in all my collecting, I've only had one, two, three toddlers. Well, four if you count the one that I had for like two weeks, which was a limb sculpt that I bought from somebody else. And then I sold it. Um, and then I had a, another limb that I painted myself. And then I had a Katie Marie. That's it. Oh, and Betty. So, yeah. I've had only a handful of toddlers when I've had over 200 other babies. Um... I'm usually not a toddler person, but for whatever reason, I am so drawn to Phoenix and wait for it. This is a T. This is the craziest thing. I cannot believe the words is about to come out of my mouth, but mark your calendar because <laughs> this can change. <laughs> he is absolutely my most favorite baby out of all the babies. He is number one. Is that crazy? Even out of my silicones and everything. Phoenix is my number one baby. I love this boy more than any other baby. 
that I've ever painted more than any other baby that I've ever had in my collection. He is my number one. And then, I don't know if I could rate them, like go down the list. Don't worry guys, you guys will get to see him in a minute. I just gotta unfasten this part. But I don't know who come, you know, then it would be a hard choice from there. Um, he just in a category all by himself and so it's easy for me to say he is my number one because he's so different from everybody else. And I think when, as I started painting him, I started seeing him looking like Phoebe. And so I was like, I told you guys this story before. Boy, what is you doing? <laughs> um, and I think I ended up saying, you know what? He looks like Phoebe. And so I was like, I'm just going to start painting him like Phoebe. But um, the sculpt itself, like, he looks like when the other one that I painted, my mom always goes, she she says, and she says the sculpt itself, period, looks like um, I have a brother named Danny. You guys don't probably never met Danny. Um, Danny um, has autism. Um, and so... Um, he has special needs, but he's grown now. But um, the first baby that I had, and, and Danny is very beautiful. He's um, he's a Caucasian babe, uh, well, man now, but he's Caucasian, blue eyes. He, I mean, he's just really his skin complexion is like beautiful. Um, I don't know how to explain it. He's just really pretty. Um, and so the first one kind of looked like him but as I was thinking about it, I was thinking about my son my son had this big head and these little I don't know he had this little stuffy look I don't know at one point you know I thought he was just super adorable like he was the only son so I was like guess my only son and he was the last youngest baby and I thought he was just oh you know mommy 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 and then as I look back at his pictures, I'm like, oh, you wasn't that cute, boy. Like, you know what I mean? Like, and my mom was like laughing like, yeah, he was kind of funny looking, but I didn't want to tell you that. <laughs> but, um, son, don't worry about it. You cute now. Nah, my son real cute <laughs> now. Nah, but, um, I think sometimes he knows it too. But, um, yeah, but you know. So this, so he kind of remind me of that. You know, it's funny. I love Bryson so much. Bryson is the first baby that I actually have. Not the first one, but he's one of the, well, yeah, he's one of the few babies that I have that I really, really like, really, really love a whole lot that doesn't remind me of my children. He doesn't. I don't know. He doesn't remind me of my children. I usually collect babies, get really, really attached to babies that remind me of my children. But for whatever reason, he doesn't. He doesn't look like any of my kids. But I guess, you know, like I was talking about it on on Instagram, your collecting style kind of changed. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. I want to call him Ryder so bad because the first limb I had was named Ryder. Phoenix. See, this is the thing with dressing toddlers and everything. You just, yeah, now it's different. Um, you know, sometimes I be doing, like, I be forgetting that I don't show certain babies. And I be like, I bet, I wonder if people would like to see me interact more with some of my bigger babies, too. I always just think about the little babies. But I think I have, like, some people that's been following my channel for a while that collects mostly, primarily, big babies, too. Like, um, I know, and I always say this wrong, I'm sure. But I'm just saying it like I read it. Not to babies and on Instagram and on here I I know she likes the bigger babies so and when I ask for a request for videos she usually requests to see the bigger babies so I'm like I need to show my bigger babies a little bit more and I think sometimes people don't understand how much I love some of my babies because I don't show them as much but it doesn't really mean anything to me because I'm I'm not collecting for views or collecting for status or anything like that i collect because i love what i love 
And so I forget if that makes sense. See how his cloth body actually kind of look like skin? I like that. I love his I love his cloth body. So um his cloth body again was done by Janie Lennox, but I don't know if she's gonna be doing bodies much longer. But um yeah. I love 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 putting them on these tight bodies. Um I was supposed to change Cody out into his body yesterday, but I didn't get a chance to because of course you USPS is late with my package, so the body did not arrive. So, hey little boy, can I get your pants fastened? <laughs> okay. Now, if he was a real boy, I would absolutely still change him the same way. Probably not handle him the same way because he would be moving, but I... I change my babies usually in my lap, on the bed, you know, on the sofa, on the floor, wherever I could change them, you know. Um, I wasn't, you know, in a position to where I had like this separate fancy nursery and um, changing tables and all that. My babies did have to change tables and stuff. Um, and don't get me wrong, they didn't go without, didn't, they wasn't like not, didn't have what they needed. It's just that we had a lot of babies at one time. Oh God, did I do something wrong here? I think I did. Uh, I'm missing a button somewhere. Oh, right here. All you gotta do is say the word. Alright. Alright, 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 alright. Y'all will learn today. So, let's see. I think both of these things came from uh, Baby Gap. I like shopping there sometime, every now and then, if you can catch stuff on sale, because that stuff can be pricey. I've been trying to shop a lot of different places for my babies, but, um, yeah. I can't wait. I got a box coming of some baby clothes for, um... Some special baby gonna have to wear it. So, I am so geeked up about all these different pre-orders. Let me tell y'all, guys. There, I don't like to do pre-orders, but when you ain't got a choice, you ain't got a choice. It's certain um, babies that I am so geeked up about. Um, definitely, you guys know, of course, I wouldn't have done the prototype if I wasn't geeked up about it. I'm definitely expecting a wanting this Cody. But I decided just to order one of the Cody's. I should have ordered two because I'm pretty sure I'm going to keep. Now, th these shoes I had originally bought for Cody. But they were too big. So I went back and I ordered him another pair. And they came. And so I know that these were fitting. They did fit him. <laughs> the other day. Did your feet grow? Hang on. Because, you know, some of these toddlers and these babies, and that's one thing that I was happy about, that uh, Cody does have a nice size foot that is proportioned to his body. Because sometimes, and um, limb feet is nice too. He he is he does have a, a good size feet. But sometimes you get kids and they be big babies and they have like newborn feet and you be like, what the hell? You know, you can't put no newborn, no, the, the, Appropriate shoes on a baby that size. Wait, hold on. Are you okay? Okay. I just want to make sure I got this shoe on right. So this foot is kind of like arched. So. But yeah. So I I was glad about that. Um. I like having my babies. I don't put my babies on shoes often, but. 
if I decide to put babies on shoes, I want to be able to at least put on, you know, them have big enough feet for the right size shoes, you know. You know how you have the babies, you know, they have big old body and those little feet looks retarded. I'm sorry, and I hate to use that word because I know some people are like, I can't talk about people, you know. Um, you can't say retarded. Well, y'all know what I mean. And, um, and then some don't ever force shoes and stuff on your baby. Feet, like, don't drag it across the paint and stuff like that. Don't, don't follow me. It's just that I don't put my babies on shoes, so I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm trying something new. Gosh, little fat feet. And these shoes are made for a little fat. And his toe is like right here, so he got a little room. Like, so if he was a real baby, I would literally buy him this size shoe because. All right. But I think it's the position of the foot. Like, the foot is kind of. You know, the feet like kind of like ballerina, like you know, be straight up and down feet. Okay, let's see. Let me see if you look right with this. Mm. Mm -hmm. I don't know, baby. I have to see you when I can step away from you. Let me see. No. Okay, let's turn these legs in. What y'all think? Is the kid okay with these shoes on? Say, <laughs> all right. Well, okay. I think he's okay with them all. I think the kid is cute with the shoes on. I love him. So, that is my Phoenix. I know this video turned out to be pretty long. It's kind of challenging to get him dressed. But I have to go now. Because I have to go paint another layer on baby Alex. I'm almost done, almost done, almost done. And then, um, yeah. Maybe I should just put this in a... I deleted, like, so many videos because the stuff I was talking about, I was like, ah, I'm tired of saying the same stuff again. I was like, woo, 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 woo. Don't y'all get tired of listening to those type videos where it's like, girl, how many times you gonna tell us that? So that's what I was doing. So I just deleted all of them. Sorry, guys. It was different babies and the babies looked good and everything. But it was just like the words that was coming out of my mouth. I just couldn't take it. It's like, shut the heck up. Anyway, guys, we'll see you guys later. All right. Now y'all know my secret. My favorite Phoenix Pooh. He's my favorite baby, right? Yes. And we will see you guys in the next video. Right? Next video. <laughs> Somebody said he bought my color. That's why I like him the most. What you think? I don't know. Because my arm and his arm is looking kind of close. Uh-oh, Phoenix. You might be like your mama. Him and um, Phoebe. All right. I got to go and be a nosy. Looking out the window. He looking out the window. What? It? Phoenix. He's so nosy. Me next. Tell him bye. To bye bye. To bye bye. To bye bye. You don't want to? You shy? Mama baby shy. That's mama boy. <laughs>